This is the Bears Den Fishing Report. We're about 20 minutes from the shop. And if you're wondering if there's fish, there's fish. Get out there. All right, we get a lot of questions on uh, stripping baskets this time of year because the fish just showed. And uh, I'm just gonna go over the different ones we sell and the differences between them. I'll start with the Orvis. It's kind of the, the original. They call it the durable stripping basket. Um, this is the model that they brought to, I believe it was MIT. They told them they just needed um, they presented the problem of line management they were having and asked them to design something that would um, you know, combat that and this is what they came up with. Uh, very, very durable plastic. I've had one of these for years, haven't had any issues with it. Uh, we sell a lot of these. Comes with the waiting belt um, and this is made in the U.S. I think it's the only one out of all these that's made in the U.S. So if that's important to you, then the Orvis is the way to go. Um, similar to the Orvis, a little bit less expensive. It's going to be this one from Line Curve. Um, a little more ergonomically designed, rounded, a um, little bit less durable plastic, and this one's imported, so it saves you a couple bucks there. Again, it comes with the belt, um, space to stash your rod the way the Orvis one had as well. Um, both of these, the Orvis and the Line Curve, I would suggest drilling holes in the bottom if they're going to be in the surf just to help the water drain through. Um, Otherwise, they're going to fill up with water every time a wave washes over them. Move on to a couple newer ones that we have. This has become our most popular scientific anglers e-coastal. Instead of having cones, it has these little pieces of plastic that stick up. And um, it actually does a really good job of um, letting the line just rest in natural coils and firing off them. Um, you know, they're, they're durable. Bendable. We do have replacement plastics. They just pop in the front just like that. You can take them out, put them back in. Um, we have replacements for those. We do have holes to uh, assist in drainage. A uh, little rod holder nicked in here, uh, just like the other two had. And um, it kind of has an open front, which allows you to hang more line off the front. It also allows water to, uh, to kind of drain off a lot easier but it still retains these sides so you get you know some sense of sides with the line management this is super lightweight it's all foam it's a biodegradable foam and one of the nicest things this has over all the other ones is it's got a velcro attachment to the belt it comes with so you don't actually have to take the basket and the whole belt off to take the basket off you can just kind of unstick it and then stick it back on and you can still keep the belt on as your waiting belt um, probably sell more of these than anything else now just because it, Seems to combine the best of both worlds um, between the more uh, traditional hard shell ones and this new foam style. And last but not least, probably the most easily packable we have is this Flexi Stripper from A-Rex. It's uh, more of just kind of like a platform with again these, these plastic um, kind of just spikes that stick up and hold the line. Um, this is kind of just going to rest right off your hip and you're going to just strip the line into it. Uh, this is ideal if you need to just throw something in a backpack. Um, you're going on a vacation and uh, you know you just have a spot in your luggage. You can kind of just stick that in there and this is going to be a very, very portable um, option. Um, we had one of the guys at the shop using this for a long time. He loved it. Um, I've seen the line fire off this with no issues at all. Um, it, you know, it's a simple, simple option. Um, probably closer to the scientific angler one than, than the other two. Um, you know, you're missing the side, so if you have a lot of line that you're trying to hold on here, it can, you know, get a little bit more messy than I'd probably say, you know, one of the ones with the sides. But again, it does, does a great job, and this is probably the least expensive out of all of them. Um, but if you're going to be in the surf and you're using an intermediate line or a sinking line, I really, really suggest a, uh, a stripping basket of some type. It's going to save your line. Um, it's going to stop you from stepping on your line and getting it wedged in between your boots. And the rocks or the you know the jetty um, if you're fishing sinking lines or intermediate lines they're going to sink in the water so they're not going to shoot as well because you're going to have to be you're going to you're going to cast and then you're going to go to fire line and half of it's going to be sunk so you're going to have to fire the line out of the sunk you know once it's sunk which doesn't work out really well this kind of just keeps it out of the water um, optimal firing position um, loose coils and it should prevent 
a lot of tangles and line management issues. You know, it's going to stop seaweed and stuff from getting on your line as well. So I think really, uh, you know, you pick one of these up and it's easily going to make your fly line last twice as long. So it's going to pay for itself in the first fly line you save. Uh, as you can see, we have a good stock of all these baskets right now. And uh, I think uh, before this, you saw our first fishing report and the fish are here. So grab one of these and get out there.